Hey everybody, uh, sorry it took me so long to come back. I had some technical issues with my headset, so I had made a video, but unfortunately my audio part of it came in very weak, so I had to go back over it and just do uh, highlights with my audio, my new audio over top. So I'll add that later, but first of all, my daughter Talia would like to say hello. Hey guys. Okay, so... The first, the first video is when I went, took my prawn suit, or the first segment is when I took my prawn suit back to the lava zone, to the precursor base, to mine the uh, ion cluster that I found there. Uh, so hopefully you guys can enjoy that. So here I am entering the precursor lava base again with my uh, sea prawn. Sea dragon was really going nuts on my uh, cyclops at the moment. It was just throwing it around like a dog with a chew toy. But I found a new, I found a new area, in or a new way into the precursor base that's more of a direct. So I guess there's maybe two entrances, and this is just a path that leads directly to the precursor base. So no twist, no twisting around, wondering where to go. This is actually a straightforward path. recommend doing this without the grappling arm because it's uh, pretty tricky trying to get in here without it. I had the extra thrust as well so that helps but I would recommend uh, having the grappling arm. quite remember how to get into the base. Oops. Here I am at the entrance. I think this was that side entrance I discovered near the uh, near the cache that had the blue artifact in it. hearing things and I think it might be the precursor drones but I'm not seeing any of them and it made it very disturbing you can hear them skittering too
looking around, I'm not seeing anything appear. But yeah, I got the six, there's the six ion crystals that I got. And then towards the end of the video, I found this crater in the lava zone. So that was really creepy in there because the uh, I, I couldn't see the drones but I could hear them I could hear them just skittering on the walls and it was just very creepy so then when I got back into my Cyclops and I was leaving the lava base I found a crater on the bottom and I went in to check it out almost destroyed my prawn suit <laughs> so I went back in with my Cyclops and I discovered what looks like the uh, area the pre the uh, primary containment area with the sea emperor will be but there's it's not there yet but you can see it's sketched in so that's this is net that's it coming up so here I am checking out the uh, hole that I found at the bottom of the lava zone. Now I'm not I'm well within the depth ability of my prawn. And I'm trying to stay on stones as opposed to going into the lava. But something is just destroying my prawn. And I had no idea what it was. So I had to get out of there and get back. Oxygen. So I went back for my Cyclops and I went in with it. So I'm going in with my Cyclops. It was a pretty tight squeeze. A uh, lot of lava. I don't know if anything would have been damaging the Cyclops since it doesn't take damage. I don't know if it was the heat maybe that was damaging my prawn? But maybe I need that extra hull reinforcement. So then it led to this huge cavern here. That was pretty interesting. There was a, it looks like a trapped sea dragon leviathan. And he was not happy to be there. barely hear my audio. I, I had a really bad microphone at that point. So I'm just exploring down below. Um, there are some precursor uh, artifacts, I guess. There, You can't go in them. There was no entrances. It looks like that might be uh, uh, implying this will be the primary containment unit. I think they look like anchors or something. But the uh, Sea Dragon Leviathan was very, very hostile. It knocked my sub around a fair bit. So there was a, uh, a big hole here. I'm guessing that's where the Sea Emperor might end up being. Again, I don't know until it's Im fully implemented in-game. I don't play experimental, so I don't know. But like I said, it looked like a very large area. There's a big green glow there. Uh, there didn't seem to be any source for the glow. It was just there, so it looks like they'll be adding something there later. So I'll have to keep an eye on future updates, and then I can come back. Um, there's the Sea Dragon just beating up my Cyclops. <laughs> he did not like me being there. Other than there was about three of these uh, structures, but again, there was no way to get into them. And it was hard to get a close look with the Cyclops, but I did go all the way around the structure and there was no, no entrance at all. Unless it's something they'll add later, but I can't see it. Like, I don't think I could get in there to 
I could leave my Cyclops, I'd probably die unless they add something later, so. Uh, so I just did, checked around some more and that was pretty much it and then I left. Okay, so hopefully that brings you guys up to speed. And uh, now I'm not really sure what I want to do. <laughs> so I've done what I can with the lava zone. And I'm thinking... Oh, I'm at my deep base here. Uh, I heard apparently that there's a cache in the... Uh, uh, dunes. So I think I will go back to my primary base. And uh, make another purple artifact just in case I need it. Because I have all those extra ion crystals. Oh, um... One thing I forgot to show you guys is I made an ion uh, power cell. So here it is. It's in the recharger because uh, the lava larvae down there were just insane. But uh, okay, it's just a regular power cell now. What happened? Is that a glitch? Oh no, there it is, I put it in here. So uh, it actually contains a thousand power versus 200 power from a regular power cell. So that's actually kind of impressive. I'll just put fresh batteries in here. Um, and like I said, I, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I was watching another video and uh, they said that the charger in the the charger in the Cyclops is not a cheat. So that's why I have one in there. That's going to take a while for that to recharge. Okay, so I'll head back to my main base and get that purple artifact and then I can head to the dunes. So I'll see. Okay, so I'm back at my base and the first thing I realized is it's pretty quiet here. Hmm. I should be hearing roaring or something, but I'm not hearing or seeing anything. I I think Marky Moo's gone. Hmm. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let me get in my base. Okay, I'd rather have Reginald. How many did I grab? Two. Let's make it three. I think this is uh, Marky Moo's favorite food, so I'm gonna keep couple of these on hand just in case he's not gone and just hiding somewhere but I should be hearing him roar by now okay let's see now I need some diamonds which I don't have really Okay, I have to get some diamonds out of my Cyclops. Just a sec. Okay, I made my purple artifact, and now I'm actually going to head over to the Aurora to see if Marky Moo went home. Because I remember when he first showed up, it's because there was some kind of weird glitch. And I went to feed him, and he jumped the barrier between the kelp forest and the crash trench. And then he just appeared outside my base, which I will admit has been a little inconvenient, because I can't bring my sea moth home. Because he will, can and will destroy it. But, uh, just want to see if he's still there. 
And if he is back at the crash trench, let's see if he's still tameable. Oops. And I know some of you argue he's not tamed because blah blah blah, but whatever. I give him a fish, he doesn't kill me. As far as I'm concerned, that's tamed. Oops. Got a little turned around there. Oh, oh there I am. Okay. So I think I'm in the right spot? Yes. Okay. So, I just have to get out of here. I just realized I'm wearing my still suit, which is probably a mistake. Let me put on my reinforced suit just in case he's not friendly anymore. Oh, I had—I already had a purple artifact, and oh, I have two. Okay. So this is the Aurora Crash Trench where I first tamed Marky Moo. So let's see if he came home. I can't believe I'm doing this at night though. That's a little insane. I don't see him. Oh! I hear him. Oh, there he is! Hey, buddy! Oh, you're hungry! Okay, so he must have come home then. Yeah, I missed you too, buddy. The neat trick is if I go to the surface and try to feed him, he'll sometimes launch me into the air. Come on, you gonna launch me? Or are you not hungry because you already ate? Come on, launch me, boy. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, he died. He jumped out of the water, though. <laughs> How many do I have left? Okay, I got two left. He's chasing his tail. Isn't he cute? Okay, so I no longer have my neighbor, the Reaper. <laughs> Which I will be able to live without. <laughs> but maybe one day I'll build a base along this trench so I can visit him whenever I want. With an observation uh, bubble so I can watch him. Okay, well that's about as much as I want to get done in this video today. Because uh, I'm running into overtime. But next time I will go to the dunes and try to find that other cache. Okay? So bye everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video.